future Jason here, there is a twist of this tail, so make sure you stick around to the end. Welcome back. In this video, we're going to try and solve a problem with this cat and this cat door. So we live uh, rurally, so there's lots of field mice around, and one cat occupied the kitchen with those field mice, or well, she thinks it's a gift to bring them into the house, and we don't want that, right? So we lock the cat door so she can't get in. So what she'll do is she'll scratch and scream at the door until the letter in. So I've got to let her in right, otherwise she'll wake the kids, which is worse. So I stumble down to the lounge across the domestic fire walk and fight with these latches on the door. Pretty sure they've been designed by Houdini himself. But after that whole sort of performance, you're never going to get back to sleep. So what I've got to do is devise a way to block the door and open it remotely. So I'm going to have a old security camera I've got, which has got no vision, just to have a look and see if she's got anything. And then I'm going to try and create a device which locks the door and unlocks the door through my phone. So I've cobbled up this sort of design and this is what it looks like. So here is the design. It's pretty straightforward. It's got a rack here, which uh, Rex, I guess is the best way to describe it. It's just made up of a chassis, a stepper motor and its driver board along with a Wi-Fi controller and a spur gear, a cover to protect it all and of course the rack gear. Just got the four components to print off here and then we'll go ahead and assemble it and see if we can get it to work. Okay, here's the unit all assembled and, and good to go. Uh, it's just down on one end, it's just got a micro USB plug like you've got on a regular cell phone. And we're going to power it with this um, power bank. And if you've seen my Mega Charger project, you'll know I've got plenty of these lying around the house. So I just got to plug it in, and the first thing this thing will do when it gets power is search for a Wi Fi signal. And when it's finally connected, it'll initialize the blocking arm, it'll go down and then go back up into the locking state so it knows where it is. You notice when it came to the top there, it bounced a couple of times just because it's running off the end of the gears because I want to be able to pull this out if I need to because uh, if there's a power loss or a Wi-Fi signal goes or whatever, I don't want the cat stuck outside so I can pull that out and just drop it on the front there. It's keep keepsake. To use it, if you don't have a phone, because the whole idea is to use it by a phone, but the kids might want to let the cat in, there's a button on the front so we just push the button the lock goes down, waits 10 seconds, and after 10 seconds, hopefully the cat's got enough else to get in the house, it'll come back up again and lock the door. So the cat, I mean, she can go out again, but she can't come back in again after this lock is back up. We can see what she's what she's up to. So the phone, it's the same, exactly the same process, but it's obviously through a web page. So you just browse the web page, click on the button, it'll go down, wait for the 10 seconds again, and then come back up. So it looks like we're good to go. We're just going to attach to the door and see if she'll um, have enough intelligence to get through when the lock goes down. So here's the part of the video where I'm supposed to show you this amazing thing working and uh, I can't because the cat hated that thing so much she's gone missing for a week, haven't seen her yet. If you look at the video for how I put on the door I used some 3M tape and it was, it's quite smelly so perhaps she smelled that and thought something was not right. So there's a thing in filmmaking where they say don't work with kids and animals and no truer than this project. If she does come back and we get it to work, I'll definitely post another video. Um, but for now, there should be a video here if you want to build this project yourself and ski your own cat away. It's not yet there yet, I haven't built it, I haven't videoed it. So click on the subscribe here so you know when it's ready. Aside from that, thanks for watching.